Hi everyone, you all are welcome to the hip and bot padding class. So I've gone ahead to draft out my skirt pattern. Do not add allowance to your pattern. The only allowance you are adding is your zip allowance. Do not add allowance to your pattern. So I'll be working on the front. So now I have my waist, my hip and my knee line. And I also have my dart. So my waistline. I came down by 1.5 inches on the hip line I came in by 5 inches on my knee line I came up by 2 inches I'll take it again on the waist I came down by 1.5 on the hip I came in by 5 on the knee I came up by 2 inches so now Connect the three dots together with your French curve. After connecting it, you blend the sharp point at the hip line. So now you indicate your up and your down. You need to do this so you don't get confused. Indicate your up and your down. So now we are done with the front skirt pattern. You go ahead to cut. So for my back pattern, I chalked down my exact measurement. I only added zip allowance to it. So on my waistline, I came down by 1.5. On my hip, I came in by 1 inches after the zip allowance. On my knee, I went up by 2 inches. So note you need to chalk your underbot measurement and you determine your underbot by taking your measurement from your waist to the under of your butt. So from the waist to the under of my butt is 13 inches. So I chalked down 13 inches and on that 13 inches, I came in by four inches. So I'll take it again. On my waist, I came down by 1.5. On my hip, I came in by 1 inches after the zip allowance. On my knee, I went up by 2. And that's my underbot measurement. And I came in by 4. So I'll connect these lines together. So just watch closely. After connecting, you blend that pointy edge at that hip line. After doing that, we are done for the back pattern. You cut and make sure you indicate your up and your down. Next is cutting of the foam pad. So after cutting our front and our back pattern, this is what it looks like. So I'll be cutting two pieces for each of them. And I'll be using half an inch foam. So I've gone ahead to like cut my pieces now. So after cutting, this is what it looks like. As you can see, I cut out two for each. And please, you need to indicate your up and your down because you might get confused if you don't do this. So this part is very important, the trimming part. If you don't trim well, your hip and butt will be bulky. So you need to trim the edges. So take your time and trim all the edges. Just watch what I'm doing. So after trimming, you should have something like this. Next is how to cover your foam pad. So you can use any of your interfacing. I'm using a paper stay. You can use any of them. So I folded mine just like this and I placed each of the foam on it. So after placing it, you go ahead to cut. After cutting, you're going to have two pieces for each of them. You open it and you place it on it. Just like this. And you turn over and place the other one on it. After placing, 
you take it to your ironing table and you iron it you do the same thing for the other ones after ironing this is what it looks like please indicate your up and your down it is important you do so how to join the foam so what you need to do now is this is how the foam look like after ironing so you take it to your machine and you sew round it you're sewing round it like two or three times on each of them it makes your work neater you sew round it two or three times so just watch what i'm doing i'm sewing round it two or three times on each of them then you trim the SSC. Next is how to cut your main fabric. So I have my front and my back. So what you need to note is when cutting, the only thing that will change is your hip measurements because you are adding foam to it, so it will change. So let's say my hip is 40 and the thickness of my foam is half an inch. You remember we cut out four pieces of foam so half an inch in four places will give me two so our my new hip measurement will be 42 not 40 so you chalk down your hip measurement your new hip measurement add your sewing allowance to it and for the lining you cut your exact measurement your waist measurement your hip measurement your exact hip measurement and you add your sewing allowance to them so you need to note that we have two different hip measurements on the main fabric and on the lining. So now what I need to do is go and sew up my main fabric and the lining separately. I will join them separately. After joining, this is what it looks. I've joined my main fabric separately and I've joined the lining too so to place my foam on my lining i came down by 1.5 inches come down by 1.5 and you place the foam on that 1.5 inches line so now you need to open up the lining seam just the way i am doing open it up this way and you place it on it just like this so you untack or you use your machine anyone that works for you so i prefer using my machine i sew straight down but you are sewing on that seam line so you need to open it up when doing this you take your time it's a gradual process you need to sew on that seam line so after sewing this is what i have as you can see so this is what it looks like so you can go ahead to tack them but i prefer sewing them round so when you are sewing make sure you are dragging it out do not allow your material get stuck inside so just drag it out the way i am dragging mine So after sewing it, this is what I have. So I'll go ahead to do the other parts. So now, this is what we have. After joining them together, this is what I have. So now, you join your lining and your main fabric together. You can join it any way. You join it the way you normally join your skirt and lining so i went ahead to place it so guys as you can see i've gone ahead to like fold my fabric into two just like this you fold it and you make sure you open it up just like this so now what you need to do now is on the waist you take your waist measurements your waist divided by two so now i've chopped my waist divided by two and i on my waist i chopped my hip line that's my hip line so now i'll be taking my new hip measurements my new hip measurement divided by two 
so you open it up just like this and you chalk the line after so the, after chalking the line on that line i will i'm just going to double stitch and sew it straight down and you add your zip top like this as you can see after you have double stitch you open it up just like this then you place your zip and you sew your zip on the skirt that is it and after doing that this is what we have as you can see this is how the hip and butt looks like i use half an inch so you can use one inch two inch three inches if you want your hip very very big but this is how mine just look with the half an inch i used so i hope this video is very helpful to you guys and for now i will say this is the end of the class bye